Swab rep. We've got all our ingredients for the classic Chicago style dog. Now all we need to do is find the perfect hot dog stand. Timothy on Facebook says Wolfies, awesome dogs and equally awesome sign. Shouldn't be too hard to find. Let's go. Let's do it. Gus, all episode long, Brittany and I have been all over Chicago land, checking out the ingredients that make the Chicago dog so special. So while she's in back putting the dogs together, I thought I should be out front with you learning all about Wolfie's. So tell us about this iconic spot. Well, Wolfie's has been here at the same spot for 50 years now. Number one seller still hot dogs by quite a bit of margin there. Everyone knows what a dog is and what goes on a dog, but just for those who maybe don't, what are the essential ingredients that make up a Chicago style hot dog? Mustard, relish, onion, tomato, pickle, hot peppers, and celery salt. And it also has to be on a poppy seed bun. Why don't you head in back, join Brittany make some dogs, and I'll go and talk to some of your customers and find out why they love the Chicago dog so much. You got it. Okay. Well, we have been working with all these ingredients the entire episode. Now, finally, I get the chance to make the entire Chicago style hot dog. And it all starts with the Marianne poppy seed bun from Rosen's. Yes, miss. It's the only way to have it. Absolutely. Nice and steamed dog. Vienna beef natural casing hot dog. Next up, it's all about the mustard. Yes. No ketchup on hot dogs. We no don't ketchup, do that. No not and in Chicago. It's gotta be Blockman's mustard. Now we go with the relish, then some fresh cut diced onions, tomato. Next. Tomato. Elliot had some fun at Mighty Vine. All right, now we got the pickles. Crunchy, perfect. Oh, oh, that's okay, it happens all the time. It's all right, it's all going together. A couple of hot peppers on there. Which is great because Puckered Pickle actually does not only pickles, but sport peppers and relish. And now, you can't forget the celery salt. Finish it off, a little dusty. That is a thing of beauty. Perfect. Why don't you whip me up one more of these, and E and I, we're gonna chow down. It's time to eat. No problem. What's your favorite toppings when you have a hot dog? Well, I, I'm a mustard, onion, and uh, tomato guy myself. My favorite toppings would be the sports peppers. I love the, the hot dog itself. Ketchup, yeah. mustard. Whoa, yes. whoa, whoa, whoa. You failed the test to start again. What did you say first? Ketchup. Yeah, what, on a hot dog? No ketchup. What do you like about the dog, though? What do you like about a Chicago style dog? Yeah. I come from the old neighborhood on Taylor and Halstead, and we grew it up with it. It's a tradition of ours. I grew up with it this way, and that's how I like it. Anything that comes from Chicago, that's original from Chicago, is special. That's special, yeah. Chicago. <laughs> through and through. All episode long to get to this point. It's been a fun episode though. Something different for us and I feel like we learned a lot. I went to Tomato Farm, went to the Rosen's Factory. I know, I got to learn all about mustard, did some pickling at Puckered Pickle. It was a lot of fun. But what I've been missing the whole episode is I've been waiting to eat. So it's time to wolf these down. We don't get to do this often enough together. I know, Quite cheers, good. enjoy. There's a reason why this has stood the test of time, why those ingredients matter yeah. all together. The composition is something magical. It's so good, and it's so Chicago. I couldn't sound any better myself. I know, I like this episode. We need to do more like this, this was fun. We should jump in the Neon Green Relish Renegade, go on to our next adventure. Let's find it. You in? I'm in. Okay, we're out.